while we are all restricted in our movements and our ability to work in the plant due to the coronavirus, I thought I would bring you these 10 short videos on subjects of general interest to people who work in refineries. I hope you'll find these useful. And again, as always, if you have any questions about process problems, please send me an email with an appropriate process sketch. And without any charge, I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you. One of the confusing aspects of refinery operations is how to optimize or adjust pump rounds. This applies to coca fractionators, crude fractionators, vacuum towers, and especially to uh, cat cracker fractionators, which have four pump rounds. Ordinarily, many operators expect that when they increase the pump round circulation rate, they will extract more heat from the tower. Oftentimes that is right, but oftentimes that is wrong. Herein lies the problem. I have here a crude tower pump round. I draw your attention to two temperature points. Temperature at that point A and temperature at point B. As the operator increases the pump round circulation rate, I will absolutely guarantee you that the temperature, the draw temperature at point A will go down. Why? Because, you know, you're going to increase the circulation rate and you're going to likely drop more lighter components into the bottom of the tower because of the greater liquid traffic on the intervening trays. That's a small effect. A larger effect is the effect on point B. As one increases the pump around circulation rate, the temperature at point B is certainly going to go up. Again, the temperature change at point A may not be very large. It will be a small reduction, but no great big deal. But the temperature increase at point B may be very large. Why? Because we are limited by the heat transfer capacity of this exchanger. And as one increases the circulation rate and the heat transfer capacity of the exchanger remains the same, because the surface area of the exchanger is constant, then the pump around return temperature is going to go up. Now the amount of heat we remove for each barrel of pump round is proportional to the temperature difference between point A and point B. So as one increases the pump round flow rate F1, that will of course F1 will go up, but this temperature difference is definitely going to go down. So then how could one really gauge as to what you are really gaining by increasing the pump round circulation rate? Because very often, perhaps half the time, increasing the pump round circulation rate will cause the pump round duty to go down and not up as you desire. So what you have to do, guys, is look at the temperature change on, in this case, the crude side. If this temperature change on the crude side goes up at a constant crude rate, at a constant flow on the tube side, as you increase the sump pump around circulation rate, again, if the delta T between T2 and T1 goes up, then of course, you are extracting more heat from the pump round, which is good. But at a constant crude rate, if this temperature difference goes down, the temperature difference between T2 and T1 gets smaller, then of course the pump round heat extraction is diminishing, even though the pump round circulation rate is going up. 
we say you are limited by the surface area of the exchanger. So there's no way to tell for sure whether increasing the pump around circulation rate extracts more heat or less heat from the pump around. It's kind of like 50-50. You got to look at the change on the other side, in this case on the crude side. Again, if this temperature change goes up, then increased pump around circulation rate is fulfilling your intended function.